Now Java is an area where Intel have been focusing their attention and really optimizing their foam. Uh, this is Dragonfly, it's a Java game. Lots of apps in the, in the market, in the Android market, use Java. Lots of people have been asking, well, how does Java run with Android? Well, we'll show you. This is Dragonfly. I'm going to see if I can get this moving fairly quickly. As you can see, it's very fluid. It's very fast. And it runs exactly as you'd expect it to run on a device like this. So Java is not a problem. It's very, very, very easy. Very, very fluid, very slick. But what if we want to turn it up a notch and get into some 3D gaming? Well, I have a game called Asphalt 6. The reason we chose this game is that it doesn't run so well on other devices. And the reason is it's very, very quick. It's a 3D game. There's lots of polygons being pushed around the screen. There's lots of shading going on. And it really pushes the graphics. So let's see what it looks like on here. So as we get into this, I'm going to try and catch up with the other cars, so we have a lot going on on the screen. And I'm using a mini HDMI cable to, to uh, connect to this screen. So this is real time, this is not a video demo. And as I get into these cars, you'll see there's no slowdown. And it runs as the game was designed to. No slowdown, the frame rate's excellent. The draw time is excellent and it's pushing a lot of polygons around the screen seamlessly and effortlessly. So it's very, very, very easy, very, very quick. And we can do this all day. But what I want to show you, aside from gaming, oh, I just ran over someone with a forklift truck.